So we could we just sell them off individually. Uh, okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck pizza crust. Welcome to the live cast, everybody. <laughs> I'll use some of that as intro. <laughs> I'm Deanna, your host, uh, here with Adam, Hello. Sydney, Hello. and Dan. Hiya. And we've done some things this week. Yeah. Uh, it's an exaggeration to say I've done things. Yeah, definitely, for me too. Yeah. I've done like one thing. <clears throat> it's one more than I've done. I did like really? half a <laughs> yeah. thing. Uh, I, well, <laughs> Shadowrun Anarchy came out on Friday, and we'll have a bonus episode for you guys about that, because I want to try it. I'll also have a review on the lifecast.net for it. Right um, now? Not right now. Oh. Um, I don't know when. Fucking, I'm working on it. No, I, I just thought it was right now. So oh, like, oh. No, no, not right good. now. We're good. It's in, per, it's in, I'm writing it. it. It'll be there when it's fucking done. It's yeah, a W-I-P. Exactly. Whip. <laughs> what have you guys been doing, please? <laughs> so I don't have to fill this air by myself. <laughs> Cindy, what's up? This weekend, I I took a <laughs> I took a very long nap. This whole weekend was just very tired. Oh yeah. But in the wake of that, I played Stardew Valley before the patch, and also after the patch, so I could like compare. Uh huh. And also, I made a lot of progress in my old one, and Ooh. now I've started over, and I realize how good I have it on my second farm. <laughs> you start with nothing. <laughs> Yeah. And I I forgot that. Yeah. yeah. I'm finding it hard to go back to nothing. <laughs> There's no bag space. There's no bag space. Yeah, that's what I find. Like even in without having played the patch. Yeah. Post patch. Mm-hmm. Post patch. <laughs> uh, There's no bag space yeah. at all. Yeah, but you get you get more. <laughs> yeah, I know. Are you saying I, in I general? Just, I just don't like where I'm at. Oh okay. Oh, okay. Bag space. Okay. It's like, do you not have the extra large bag? Nope. That you can put all the things in? No, I don't have that yet. Oh, okay. I've been spending a lot of time working on my crops. Like an ornery farmer man. Woman. <laughs> Person. Have you been Person. doing anything else? Me? <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay, well, okay, okay. Oh, wait, no, I was talking to Sydney. <laughs> <laughs> okay, hold on. Okay, it's let's fine. start over. We both played Stardew Valley. It's true, that's, that's I'm, one I'm of sorry, them. I'm a mess today. No, you're this not. Week. It's okay. It's been rough in my family. Uh, oh, okay. I don't know. I don't exactly want to talk about it on the That's podcast. That's understandable. But, you know, there are things happening. That's okay. Anyway. Yes. Um, on my new farm, yeah. I'm finding I've been spoiled with the bag space and, like, even the fishing. But it's, like, the thing I hate is I have no energy currently. Is yeah. fishing better in the patch? There are different farms now. Like, the original one, you had one layout and that yeah. was it. In the new one, there are four yeah. new layouts. Okay. There's a Riverland layout. I might give it a shot when I go home. Tonight. Which focuses a lot on bodies of water around your farm. Yeah. There's less actual land space, so it's like a little bit more difficult to maneuver where you want to put things. Yeah. But you also have fish all around you. Yeah. The one mm-hmm. I'm playing through now, I got the forest farm. Uh huh. So there's a lot of trees, a lot of grass where you can't necessarily plant crops, but there's opportunities for foraging. Uh huh. And also constant hardwood regeneration. Oh my god. <laughs> there's the hilltop farm, yeah. which is very linear. You focus on different levels on your farm. Uh huh. And in addition to that, there's a replenishing quarry on your property. Okay. So you can get minerals and things. And I don't know if they update as you get further along. Mm. Okay. I'd imagine that they would. Yeah. Because after a while, you just don't need copper, mm-hmm. except to make Clint happy for some reason. <laughs> he likes his copper. He likes to inspect his copper. Yeah. I know. <laughs> let the man live his life. I, I do. I'll let him live. He and Emily can live happily ever after in a nice copper house. Adorable. <laughs> but he's not even taking the copper. He's just like, hey, could you come bring some copper by? I want to look at it. <laughs> and he's like, yeah, here you go. He's like, you, you can, can have start. it back. It was great. I looked at it. <laughs> Give it to the chickens. They probably need it. Yeah. Copper? <laughs> what if, like, what if the main character dies? Then you have to, you're just gonna leave your your chickens with no money. That's why you marry somebody. You gotta give them copper. Yeah, marry well, someone. But what if it's like a murder suicide? Uh, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> um, isn't isn't is, suicide is our spouse a gonna turn on us? Yeah, because you can like divorce. Ooh, them Abigail now. will betray you. That's true. Also, Abigail you can... will remember that. <laughs> 
So you can yeah. divorce your spouses yeah. now? Yeah. I don't know how to feel about that. Yeah. But, like... I don't, I don't know how to feel about it either, but, like... I don't know. This opens up a whole conversation, which I've been dealing with. <laughs> There's also... In a which, par- like... Sorry. It's okay. Continue. I'm just like, I don't want you to talk about it because I can see it's distressing, so I'm like, let's no, just it's not, not talk No, it's not a current it. event. It's okay. just like my feelings on divorce are changing for reasons Ooh, okay. uh, that are actually pretty cool. That. <laughs> <laughs> you hear that, no. kids? Divorce is cool. No, it's Find like, someone you hate and then divorce. <laughs> Now I'm beginning to realize that, you know, sometimes when you marry someone, in all of my experience of marrying people, (laughs) when you marry someone, like, sometimes the best thing is that you grow up to be different people, even in, like, your 30s, you know, you grow up to your 40s and you've changed. Sometimes the best thing for both of you from a care standpoint, you could love them very much still, but maybe sometimes the best thing is divorce. Or you could divorce and also turn your children into birds. Because apparently that's also a thing. Yeah. Is that a glitch? No. No, apparently what happens is you can divorce your spouse and yeah. they'll remember it in game. Yeah. So you'll go from maximum hearts to the least amount of hearts. So it'll be like nothing ever happened. Yeah. But you're left with the children. Yeah. And you can pay a witch to turn your children into birds. Just like real life. <laughs> <laughs> uh, great. But yeah. I wish I could turn children into birds. I hate kids. I hate birds. So. Uh, yeah, I don't really <laughs> like birds. Yeah, I, yeah honestly. Let's like, turn oh, all yeah, the birds. Speaking of children, <laughs> like, can I talk about Eugene for a moment? Uh, yeah, a absolutely. little shit. All right? <laughs> did he shit very little pellets? No, what he did was... He shat one big pellet. <laughs> so he's a big cage. shit. This is pretty bad for a chinchilla, and I oh, regret no. like not fixing it sooner. But we have a cage with a plastic bottom. Yes. And Eugene chewed a hole in it. Which... If, if plastic is chewed up by chinchillas and they, like, ingest enough of it, it could give them a stomach impaction, oh, no. which could be fatal. But what, what this little shit does, okay, <laughs> is he chews it and he spits all of the plastic out into, like, a little pile. Well, I guess it's better than him eating it. Yeah, at least he's not gonna die. He still gave me a heart attack. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> that reminds me of when my dad was cleaning our fish tank when we had fish, and apparently... <laughs> Apparently, I got, like, the cleaning stuff on my hands, and I was, like, two at the time, and I went to go wash my hands like a good child, and my dad thought I ate it, oh. and called, like, the health department, and was frantically, like, trying to get me to, like, be okay, and I'm like, Dad, I washed my hands. <laughs> I, I did good things. <laughs> oh, why do, how do humans survive past, like, chilled... Ad- Childhood. It's a fucking like, miracle. They wash their hands. Babies, babies are stupid. Yes, and they like, are. I'm, my mom is a preschool teacher, so I'm learning now more than ever that like parents are fucking stupid. Yes, they just are. Suck. Yeah, yeah, yeah they do. Like, <laughs> like, like, there was there was my mom my mom's class went on a field trip today. Okay. And oh dear. The day yesterday, literally yesterday, someone brings their kid to school for the first time and says, "Is it okay if she goes on oh the field God. trip?" For the first time, like of the year. Yeah. Jesus Christ. First of all, it's October. Like, it's October. You're <laughs> fucked up. It's October. It's going to be a late Second bloomer. Second of all, like, this kid doesn't know anyone no. in her in her classroom. This is preschool? Preschool. So four? Yeah, older four is in, like, early fives is okay. what my mom teaches. Okay. Like, bro, why? And then, like, this other parent was asking, oh, it's okay if I bring her on the field trip. And my mom was like, well, she needs a permission slip. Yeah. Yeah. He doesn't sign the permission slip. And uh, he signs it, brings it the next day. This yesterday. Here, here's the permission slip. And they co- the dad comes to school today, and is just like, oh, we didn't bring her because she was throwing up everywhere. It's like, you have judgment. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations. That might even be their first time at school, because I didn't know this until, like, last year. You don't have to go to preschool in Massachusetts. Yeah, yeah it's an option. Oh, really? Yep. You also don't have to yeah. go to kindergarten. That's wow, fucked up. Wow, I didn't know. Like, I heard that. This might be getting into, like, my mom's work life a little bit, mm-hmm. but she's doing all this research for, like, a master's degree on early childhood development and things like that. And, like, it's really fascinating and how, you know, the three to five ages mm-hmm. are so important for, like, yes. children to be taught and to, like, learn how to do languages and things. And I'm oversimplifying it a lot. But, like, you can't just, like hold your and like social skills too yep they learn a lot of they social learn a lot skills of social skills when they're like little shits <laughs> i 
I don't, I don't like kids. Can you tell? Like, um, <laughs> but that's why I was shocked that kindergarten wasn't mandatory in Massachusetts. Yeah. I'm like, so a kid's like, first chance at school, he could be six. Yeah. Jeez. Like the only, the only social interactions they've had are either if they're an only child with their parents. Yep. Which is very weird developmentally. Yes. <laughs> because you know, a, a adult isn't at the same maturity level as a human. Or, as a human. <laughs> okay, in some cases, yes. Kids are monsters until they grow up. Yeah. As, as a child, they're not at the same maturity level, so that's very weird. So that kid could, could either be, like, super regressed or just, like, super adult for his level. Yeah. His age. The kids Their either age. wind up, like, childhood introverts or childhood geniuses. Yeah. Which, there's no real way to tell. No. Like, not Until it's later along. And then, like, they're learning all these motor skills. And I didn't learn those. I know. It's a wonder I did. (laughs) Because, like, I learned them all at home. So, like, my mom has been doing this, like, gifted baby shit for, like, at least three kids now. (laughs) Only three kids. (laughs) I I remember when I was in kindergarten, the teacher had to cover, like, the picture book words (laughs) so that I wouldn't read ahead and figure out what's happening (laughs) during circle time. (sighs) So, like, I don't know. Either it could be like that, or you could just have your kid that, like, doesn't do anything. Like, they can't interact when they get into first grade. I don't know. I got really deep into this subject, but it's like, why? Why would you do that to your kid? This thing that you probably care so much about because you pushed it out of your vagina. Do good for them. You didn't go through all that pain for nothing. The only (laughs) thing is that early childhood care is really expensive. Yeah, it is. Like, it is. really expensive. Yeah. It shouldn't cost the same amount of money to send somebody to college as it is to send them to daycare. Yeah. Don't have kids. Save yourself money. It's anyway. also annoying because kids are demon spawn. Yeah. Not all of them. Not, not all of them. Oh, 90%. 90%. <laughs> 90 is a really good estimate, actually. There, it's like, speaking of that 10%, there was this little kid. I was having breakfast one day. This little kid, like, saw me get out of the car and... You know, I went in, I ordered my sandwich, and I sat at, like, a table kind of diagonally behind them, and he just turns back at me, and he starts pointing at the cars on the road. Oh. <laughs> he shows them to me, and I was like, aw. That's, like, one drop in the bucket for having kids, and, like, this compared to so many buckets already for not. <laughs> <laughs> and you look over, there's, like, one kid in the corner just fucking running into it. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, okay. <laughs> Much. We look Pretty over much. in the yes, and we got like two pennies, and then we look over in the no, and it's like two hundred pennies. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, so how about ten video games? Uh, yeah. Anything else on the Stardew Valley front? Uh, I think I think all's been said <laughs> about Stardew Valley. <sighs> um. Yeah. Dan. I was expecting that Stardew Valley stuff to take a lot longer. Oh, Actually, no. <laughs> not really. Are you not prepared? No, I'm. Prepared Are you not enough. entertained? I'm entertained. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, talk to us. Some things happened. Yes. Uh, mm-hmm. Two fighting game tournaments happened this weekend, and I bounced between uh, both of them, uh, and they were CEO Taku and uh, something that's normally not a uh, fighting game tournament, uh, ESL. Uh, fucking what's it called? ESL one which is normally a CSGO tournament, and it still had CSGO there, obviously it was the main attraction, but they added Street Fighter V. Um, so for ESL, um, it was your standard Street Fighter tournament. Grand Finals was actually a really weird um, pairing for the fight. It was uh, Zhao Hai versus Momochi, and Zhao Hai is a super talented player, but he hasn't been seeing, a, like, like, he's been seeing success, but he hasn't been seeing, like, a lot of success in comparison to people like Infiltration, Tokido, Momoji, all those people. Daigo. Mm-hmm. Um, actually, no, he's been seeing more than Daigo. Daigo's off his game. But still. Uh, uh, and then there's Momochi, who everyone was expecting to win, to be honest, because Momochi is like bar none the best Ken in the world right now. Uh, and Zhao Hai was able to take it like super easy. Like, he had a very commanding lead mm-hmm. most of the game, I thought. And it was just really weird because I never got to really see him like be that successful in five. And on top of that, the venue was awesome. Uh, day three was, or day, the last day, whatever it was. I forget if it was, I forget if it was a two or three day thing. Probably two. Uh, but the last day was awesome. It was in the Barclays Center. Mm-hmm. And it was huge. It, like, we esports now. 
We <laughs> esports now. We in there. We in there. We in there. Uh, and on the other side of things, there's CEO Taku, which uh, is a branch of CEO, which is Community Effort Orlando. It's a tournament in Orlando. Go figure. Uh, and CEO Taku specifically focuses on anime fighters. And I've got a list of all the fighting games they've had there because they had so many. Most of which, like, some of which I don't even recognize. Uh, let's see here. They had uh, Aqua Paza, Aqua Plus Dream Match, Arcana Heart 3, Blaze Blue Central Fiction. They had a Catherine tournament. What? Yeah, because like, Catherine has a versus mode. Yeah. Oh, they yeah, do? Yeah, it does, but like, okay. Like, yeah. who can climb the towers faster? Yes. Yeah, actually. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> what, did they have a, a speedruns race, too? <laughs> Maybe. Isn't that what AGDQ is? Yeah, that's, that's, that's not what AGDQ is. <laughs> they had a Dengeki Bunko Fighting Climax. I'm pretty sure that's what speedrunning is, like, in general. Yeah. Who could do it faster? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, Guilty Gear XX Accent Core Plus R, Guilty Gear Exit Revelator, uh, King of Fighters 14, Kohime Embu, Melty Blood, Actress Again, Current Clode, Nitro Plus Blasters, Persona 4 Arena, Skullgirls Second Encore, Undernight in Birth, and Vampire Savior, aka Darkstalkers. All in one tournament that lasted two days. Wow. That, like, that must have been really well run. <laughs> oh, it's run by Alex Jabaley, and he's, you know, oh, okay. yeah, he's yeah. probably the best TO in the business right probably. now. Probably, so. yeah. I, I, I can't imagine that's a profitable tournament for, like, viewership and shit like that. It's yeah. not. I've heard of, like, three of those games. <laughs> <laughs> like, they just like, need uh, something to do with the extra money lying around. Yeah, yeah. right. Like, it, it seems like, a, obviously, he's Damn, yeah, I wish big I was with the that. community. Yeah, he, this but, is, like, like by far a labor of love. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Like, because, like, there can't be yeah, there, you many can't, viewers there can't for be fucking a melty blood. There can't be much of one. Yeah. No. I've heard of, like, two of those games. Yeah. Um, so, first up, my game, Guilty Gear. <laughs> that's one it of was, them. It was awesome. I loved it. Oh, it wait, was... no, three. Well, I've heard of three. <laughs> wait, what three? Um, I know Guilty Gear and Guilty Blaze Gear, Blue. Guilty Gear, Blaze Blue, and uh, King of Fighters. Okay. Oh, yeah. And Skullgirls. Four. And, okay. I play Skullgirls a little bit. Um, all the matches in Guilty Gear were great. Top eight was fantastic. Uh, because it was CEO Taku and not like a major, you didn't see any of like the like the super talented like Japanese players come out because you know no money in it for them yeah, yeah. Uh, so top 8 was composed of Kadako who played Mei Marlon Pai who is a Zato player mm-hmm. uh, one of my favorite players too Marlon Pai is awesome he also plays Marvel uh, Doran 2K who played Jam Kid Viper who is a Johnny main Hotashi using Elfeld Kusanagi using Ramlethal BZB using Chip and Shine using Potemkin and uh I, I really, really liked how Kid Viper played mm-hmm. during Top 8. I think Kid Viper was super, super on point. And same with Marlon Pie. Like, his, his, he used to be in a slump, but now he's, like, getting much better again. And yeah. I'm really happy to see that. Uh, Kadako took it, and I think it's very rare to see a May take a tournament. So I think that was really cool, uh, with Marlon Pie coming in second. Uh, for Blaze Blue Central Fiction, I actually didn't watch this because I'm not too big on Blaze Blue. But Breaker Dave won it, and Breaker Dave is awesome. Played Arakune, and I don't recognize any of these other players. <laughs> uh, King of Fighters. Uh, oh, by the way, uh, another thing, Nerd Josh like took like four of these tournaments. Like he was in top eight for like four of them. Nice, good job, Nerd Josh. He's great. I don't know who you are, but good job. But you're plays, fucking nerd. He plays like fucking everything. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but yeah, I really loved, I really loved, uh, CEO Taku. King of Fighters had Kiame taking it, mm-hmm. and Nerd Josh in third. Uh, Skullgirl second encore. I don't, I'd like, I don't even want to, like, talk about it, because Sonic Fox wins, as per usual. Yeah. Like, the metagame is Sonic Fox. Woo! Followed by the Kill Sage. Uh, yeah, this is literally just the best players at Skullgirls, just, like, in order from best to worst. <laughs> <laughs> That's what- I also saw that Sonic Fox is picking up Smash Four soon. Yes, and uh, oh, he lives he's in New York. Main Sonic or Fox. Yes, he lives. He lives in New York too, so he has. He's uh, got a, some, a great he's amount got of some, players that yeah, he can yeah. play with in New York. I'm just, I'm just waiting for all. Sonic Fox to just like take over the FGC. Yeah, play every game. Like yeah. he's, he's the best Mortal Kombat player. Yeah. He's the best Injustice player. He's the best Skullgirls player. He's picked up Street Fighter Five, and he's really good. He's taking games off of some pretty good players. He's already the best Injustice 2 player. He's already the best Injustice 2 player. It's not even out yet, but he's already the best. Yeah, uh, yeah. He's picking up Smash 4. I think I feel he'd do really well in Smash, to be honest. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Um, does Fox have a blue costume? Fox does. That's his color. 
That's, yeah. Sonic I'm, Fox. I'm trying to think. I don't, I Sonic don't, is blue. I know Fox has had blue colors in previous games. Yeah. And yellow. Cause, so blue. lemons. Because uh. Sonic. And Fox has to have a blue one in Smash 4. Or he like has a tan one one. Sonic. Yeah. Tan Sonic? I don't yeah. think there's tan Sonic. Because it's gross. Yeah. I think they're all just <laughs> variants of blue. Yeah. Yep. yep. And silver. <laughs> Not even silver. It's like the silver, silver is still blue. pretty blue. <laughs> Cobalt. <laughs> <laughs> I'm also waiting for Infiltration to pick up Smash. Yeah. Because he says he's really interested in playing Smash, and I want to see what the hell he does with that game. Yeah. I'm really interested in playing Smash, too. Woo! Not really. Maybe casually. We have a tournament Friday. Yeah. Oh, fuck. You guys have an event Friday. Yeah, yeah. we do. Weird. Anyway. Uh, I'm not going to go over all of these games, because That's... half of them people don't even care about. Thank uh, you. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I think that's it, because nobody else cares about any of these other ones. 20 minutes into podcast and chill, and he starts <laughs> listing off the places of all of the games. <laughs> I'm not. Those, just, just the big ones. Because <laughs> those are the only ones people really care about. Like, some of these don't even have top... Yeah, half of these are top four. Aww. <laughs> <laughs> What else did you play besides Stardew Valley? I played a bunch of shit this weekend. I, I took two days and I did nothing. Very much like Sydney did. But instead of napping, I sat in front of a screen for like 18 hours. It's like hours. the same thing. I think it's yeah. the same thing. I tried to um, do that. I just fell asleep while doing that. It's like the same thing. <laughs> um, I played... Ugh, I, I continued playing Day 6, uh, Mankind Divided. Yeah. And I still really continue to enjoy that. But I'm, I'm falling off almost completely of the story. Yeah. I find myself looking in a different tab or whatever, like cutscenes are happening and stuff like Ooh. that. I'm like, I'm just not really interested in the story, but, you know, I still really like just wandering around and mm-hmm. stuff like that in the world. But I also played some other things. I played a game called Virginia, yeah. which has been stirring a lot of controversy lately. Um, Why? For no good reason, that's the thing. Oh. For, for no fucking good reason. It's like, it's, so it's a walking simulator. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And the Does it per- take place in Virginia? Yeah. And the protagonist <gasps> is a black female. Is her name Virginia? So, no, her name's not Virginia. Damn it. So people are already over this game completely. Yeah, Riot. Yeah. So, so, so Walking Simulator and Diversity, pff, can't have that in 2016. So yeah, I played it this weekend. and um, Was it good? It was all right. The, the game seems really all right, but it also does some really fucking awesome things that you don't really consider in Walking Simulators, okay. like in other situations. So this game is about like two detectives, the one you're playing as and someone else, mm-hmm. and you go through your history, kind of. Yeah. And, like, you're solving a missing persons case. Also, for, for reference, this game doesn't do anything in favor of social justice. It's, like, it's oh, nothing. No. This game literally oh. is just a murder mystery. But people see the characters and they assume that it's the worst. Uh, and uh, it triggers me. I, yeah. Yeah, it fucking it's triggers like, me. It, like, actually yeah, triggers me. Yeah, it, like, me. actually fucking triggers me. But, like, but, yeah. So you're solving a murder mystery, but also you're, di- you're doing digging on the other... On your partner, yeah, because she did something, yeah, but you don't you don't really know what, and I honestly still don't know what, even though I played through the whole game. <laughs> okay, because it's it, the game's really weird. Yeah, so it's a walking simulator. Took me like an hour and a half, but there's no dialogue in the game whatsoever. It's all silent. Yeah. Um, is it, is it all silent or is it like sound effects? There, there's sound effects. Okay. There's music, sound effects, um, but no spoken word at all. Okay. Um, I, I kind of like people the are up style. in arms about a character that. You, is it like third person or is it first person? It's first person. You see are her you in the mirror. Fucking... You see her in the mirror a few times. <laughs> People are up in arms about a black female protagonist who you don't yeah. see multiple, like you, more you than see... a few times. Yes. Who has no voice. Yes, who has no like... voice and does not do anything besides solve a mystery. The steering wheel is on the other half of the car. Oh, oh damn. <laughs> see, she is black. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, that's it. Yeah. So is Clementine in The Walking Dead. Yeah, and well, Emily. Like, that's not a social justice... No, that's not it either. Maybe just because it's this year. Yeah, maybe because this yeah. year, Maybe probably. Maybe just because it's Because Walking this Dead year. came out, what, in 2013? Yeah. So that's, you know, that was a little before like, at least, The Up in Arms. 2012, 2013? Yeah, I yeah. think it was 2012. Yeah, I think 2012, yeah. Wasn't it earlier? 2011? Uh, I don't remember. Maybe, maybe the first part. Yeah. yeah. It could have been. Yeah, I'm talking about the first part. Oh. Our school was a blur to me, so I don't know. Yeah, true. Yeah. Uh, also, quick tangent. Mm-hmm. Uh, oh, about shit. steering it wheels? Was 2010. It was 2010. Yeah, okay, yeah. October 31st, 2010. Jesus Christ. Halloween. Um, but this ad just popped up on the side of my Facebook, and it's, um, 
I promise this has a tie-in. <laughs> <laughs> a portable steering wheel, drink, food tray, table, laptop stand, notebook, GPS, iPhone, cell phone desk. What? How can desk do so many things? <laughs> For a steering wheel. For a steering wheel. <laughs> I can't believe it's not butter. I don't. <laughs> Believe it. It might be. Did you read, <laughs> did, did you hit the load more part? It is might it be actually butter just butter? No, <laughs> no, it's an actual desk for your steering wheel. Are you sure it's why. not butter? Yes. Are you sure? Yes. We have to, we're going to have to order it to make sure it's not butter. <laughs> I'm not ordering a desk for my steering wheel. I already drive so distracted. I'm sorry, Mom. I just avoid <laughs> that problem by not driving. I eat butter instead. <laughs> just tops of it. Yep. <laughs> Uh, continue. Yeah. You <laughs> just stick a butter like a candy bar? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, bulletproof coffee. Anyway. So this game does some really interesting things that you don't really consider until, like, you're playing it and it's already happened. Yeah. So, like, with the traditional walking simulator, they very much encourage, like, exploration, looking at every corner, finding things. But this game, like, there's fucking nothing. Mm -hmm. Like, like, it's, it, like, it starts within, like, the first ten minutes of the game. Like, you're in this open hallway. And it's just you're walking down it, and you're trying to check out. Like there's like doors everywhere, yeah. and you're walking up to the doors, and you're like, "Well, I can't look at any of these. So what am I doing?" And like you can't like speed up your pace or anything, and you're walking down. And you're like, and then you see like a circle, and it's trying to like guide you to this one location. And it's like, well, this is really fucking weird already. Yeah. Because it's already like changed everything I do in walking simulators. Because it's all like you know, look at every nook and cranny. Maybe you'll see something written. Mm -hmm. And they made it like super fucking linear, and I think that's a really good thing. Like, for a lot of walking simulators, because... I hate to call it a walking simulator. For a first-person adventure game. Because, like, in a lot of cases, you don't fucking need all that. Yeah. Like, like there there are so many of those games that I've played where it's just like, well, you didn't need to give me decisions. You didn't need me to go over to this to look at nothing. So, like, like I kind of respect the hell out of these people for just taking that and just, like, cutting out most of the bullshit. Mm -hmm. And, um, yeah, it, it found me playing it in a really different way. Where I, I, like, I didn't fucking care what was written on the window. I didn't care if there was anything behind a fucking heater. Because there wasn't going to be. Yeah. So it, it made me, like, shift my focus more towards, like, the storytelling and the characters and stuff like that. More than just the environment and how they're shaping it. So, um, unfortunately, when you create an adventure game with no dialogue, um, it becomes a little hectic. Mm -hmm. So I think they could have handled that a little better. Because there were... Because they never, like, kept referring to things. So I was like, oh, hey, so here are all these names for them, and you'll see them maybe once or twice. And you're like, well, okay, I saw this name, like, an hour and a half ago. I don't remember who this is. I don't remember, like, it's like, here's a letter with this person's name. And I'm like, well, fuck, I don't remember who that is anymore. Mm -hmm. Or, like, like, it, like, it's just, there's, like, a lot of storytelling. Not inconsistencies, but, like, I'm forgetting because it's not being told to me. Yeah. But maybe that's just because I'm stupid. But, like, it's not being told to me. It's not being reminded to me. So, like, and it gets confusing because they keep piling on the information. It's like, well... I'm not even sure what happened 10 minutes ago, so please don't pile anything more. Yeah. And, like, so you're trying to figure out, you're, you're doing, like, a mystery with your, like, your partner too. And they'll keep them showing the document about what she did and why you're investigating her. But it'll show up for 10 seconds. And by the time you're like, oh my god, wait, I should read this. Oh, fuck, it's done. Yeah. <laughs> I hope they show it again. That's yeah. shitty. So, yeah, I, I think this game does some really, really interesting things. Um, but I didn't love it. Um, I'll probably write a full review on it because I actually feel that inclined to. Because okay. I have a lot of, to say about this game because yeah. it was actually... Please do. It's actually super interesting. Yeah. How but, long uh, was it about? An hour and a half, two hours. Cool. Yeah, but it's not going to be longer than that because you can't look at every nook and cranny. That's fine. Yeah. No, I'm saying it's a good thing because it's, well, like, yeah. it's, yeah. like, it's, like, it's not like, oh, it could be one hour no, or yeah, three hours in, depending on how you play. Even in adventure, first-person adventure games, yeah. uh, I, I don't look at every nook and cranny no, at yeah. all. Yeah. And... Yeah, like, I, I prefer them to be a little more linear. Yeah. yeah. For, for this genre, linearity suits it substantially more. Okay. But, like, but on the other hand, it's the polar opposite of Gone Home, which is another one I really, really love. Yeah, Gone Home's good. And that's one that definitely encourages looking at every nook mm -hmm. and cranny. But in this one, it worked significantly better that you weren't doing that. Yeah. So, yeah, that, that game's cool. But check it out if you want. Okay. Um, it's not great, but it's definitely some really interesting things. Not great, but good. I played through Hitman, the new episode of Hitman. I, I heard yeah. you talking about this yeah. briefly. Yeah, I was talking about it with Dave on Sunday after I finished it. And I, di I didn't like it. I didn't like this episode. I didn't like the last episode. Yeah. And Hitman's going in this weird direction. It's like, it's, it's, it's getting worse and worse every time. And I'm finding myself, like, the first three episodes are some of the best things I've played this year. But, again, with, like, because I talked about Bangkok on the podcast before. 
But with this one, I'm finding the same thing. I'm finding that it doesn't really, like, lead me anywhere, or it doesn't really allow me to play Hitman the way I want to. It's kind of just leading me in a direction. Yeah. Where it's like, well, why would I go anywhere else if this way is so much better or something like that? And, like, I'm looking for clever ways to kill people and stuff like that, and it's not really letting me anymore. Yeah. So the more I look around, the more I say, like, well, I'm just going to just... I'm, I'm going to try to you know, game this rather than actually think about it because I don't want to actually. Yeah. Cause, because the options they're giving me aren't fun necessarily yeah. anymore. That's weird because yeah. a lot of the things that people liked about Hitman was it was, like, they put a lot. It was yeah. so dense. Yeah, the, like, like the, wor- the worlds they were making were, like, bigger in size and you just, like, stumble upon a really fucking awesome way to kill somebody just yeah. by looking to it like, oh my god, I could do this and this. Like, there's no more connecting the dots in Hitman anymore. Uh, where it's just like, oh, okay, well, I'm just gonna... Uh, kill you because I have to. Yeah. And that'll be the end of it. Um, maybe maybe fun. it's a metaphor yeah. for the way we feel about our real jobs. Maybe, right? <laughs> yeah. Wow. Man, that, that's something oh. this game would do. <laughs> I don't want to kill people at my job. Maybe. Yeah. No, maybe he's getting tired of it. Maybe he's. Yeah. Maybe it's time for him to hang up his like, hat. He's like, F- you want me to do fucking five of these? He's like, it's been a year. <laughs> yeah. Maybe. Maybe. We'll find out in that last episode. Mm. But yeah, I, I really hope they <laughs> change back to their old ways. Yeah. Because these last maybe, episodes... Maybe they like, will for the last episode. He just says, fuck it, fuck yeah. you, boss. He's like, fuck you, I'm doing my kills own, his boss. I'm doing it my own way. As a change of pace, could the hitman man, like, instead of having the thing covered up, could he just get tattooed hair? Tattooed hair? <gasps> yeah, why doesn't he do that? That'd be probably better. Yeah. <laughs> How expensive would it be to tattoo your whole head? Um, <laughs> <laughs> but, like, then the evidence is still there with the barcode tattoo. Oh, that's yeah. true, that's true. What about just having it lasered off? There are plenty of bald people. Yeah. That's true. All of them are murderers. By the way, does the Hitman Man actually have a name? Agent 47. Okay, that's better than Hitman Man. <laughs> no, it's not. No, it isn't. I'd rather them call Agent him. Agent 47 sounds cooler. <laughs> As an avid fan of Mega Man, I fully support it. <laughs> the Hitman. Oh, so people are just numbers to you? <laughs> People are just blank men to you. <laughs> it's 2016, Dad, and I can be whatever gender I want. <laughs> yeah, we could be Cyber Moose Kid. You can. Are you just going to be Dan Man? Dan Man. <laughs> Dan Man 3. <sighs> he, he hasn't beat the other Dan Mans in combat yet. Shit. <laughs> your number is your ranking. <laughs> I have a city to compete with. <laughs> thing I played was uh, King's Quest. I forgot the name of it for a second. Yeah. I played the new episode of King's Quest. <coughs> and it, and Sorry. I didn't like the last episode, but this one seems to be going back, you know, more uphill. Yeah. But I also wasn't a big fan of it. Like, yeah. it's like episodes one or two. So with this one, it's basically just an array of puzzles. Uh-huh. It, it, like, it very much reminded me of, like, fucking Lion, the Witch, in the Wardrobe. Especially even... I want to try to find the, the character, but, like... No, King's Quest. Or... I'll probably attempt to play that soon. Live ass Google search. Live Woo! ass Google search. Like even like even like the main villain in it looks like a fucking <laughs> Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe character. Like, see, look at her. Oh my, <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> and it's like in this big ice world, this ice castle, stuff like that. I'm like this. I'm like oh, okay. So do you walk out of a magical portal to get there? No, you just kind of. Did kinda... C.S. Lewis write this game? He did. Damn. The man. The man. Can we talk about how the fact that The Magician's Nephew was the best book in the Chronicles of Narnia? Sure, I didn't read them. I also didn't read them. (laughs) Same. So I will... Oh yeah, Christian school. Like, I saw the movie... For my entire life. And I attempted to read the first book, and then by the first chapter I was like, this is hard, and then just didn't go back. Yeah. Yeah, I also watched the movie, and I... I remember... Very similar thing. (laughs) No, I think about it. I remember when Prince Caspian was cast... Yeah, that's, yeah. <laughs> I, <don't. laughs> I remember the movie happening, and yeah. I remember seeing it and being like, this is lame, and then I didn't care I about didn't when others it. came out. I didn't see it. I remember really wanting, fuck, what was the candy in that movie? Turkish Delight. I really wanted Turkish Delights after Luckily I saw that Luckily for movie. you, that's an actual thing. Yeah, they exist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I had and one, and it was... sugar on sugar. Yeah, I had one, and I'm like, oh, okay. 
<laughs> I, can, I can carry on for my hey, life. You know, in World War II, when everything is rationed, yeah. Turkish delight is a fucking delicacy. I, I bet, but in in twenty so are in, in, shoes. In you know what else is a fucking delicacy on a Turkish reign? Armenian Turkey? people. Oh. Life, <laughs> Jews, social justice. So I was playing the, my first social justice cause. <laughs> Yeah. Anyway, Diana <laughs> and Dan, how was game chasing this weekend? Oh, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Are you game? done with King's Quest? Uh, just a couple more things. Yeah. Um, yeah. Go ahead. It it wasn't very fun. The puzzles. <laughs> 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 like, 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 it just it just went from puzzle to puzzle. Yeah. And the puzzles weren't necessarily fun. Like like how, how I described it to I think Dave was like you know that walking section in The Witness. Yeah. Where it's like okay like these ones make a sound and you have to do that. Yeah. So, like, picture that, but also really fucking bad for four hours. <laughs> yeah, I didn't, I didn't hear you say that. Yeah. Um, like, like, the puzzles are very uninteresting, and they're all, like, line puzzles. And it's like, oh, Aww. and it's like, here, manipulate the, your fields to do it to, so you can walk across it and stuff like that. Yeah. And it's honestly just me moving puzzle blocks for four hours. And I'm like, this isn't what I want to do. But, like, in between, there were, like, little bits of life in it. I'm like, oh, okay, this is fun. I like this. I like this. And I went to puzzle. I'm like, fuck. <laughs> oh, I like this. I like... Oh, fuck. <laughs> for, for, for and repeat for four hours. But like by the time I was done with it, I kind of enjoyed. I okay. enjoyed it. Um, yeah. So yeah. we'll wait another six months to see the next fucking episode. <laughs> uh, yeah. So game chasing. Game chasing. Yes. Before we get into game chasing, mm-hmm. uh, at Fig in September, uh, the first game that we happened upon. Cheer up. We in the door. Mm-hmm. Uh, cheer up. It was really good. And yeah, it was really fun. They are on Kickstarter. Uh, if you want to know more, visit their Facebook page or ours. Um, uh, they say, today's the day. Spread the word. Tell your friends. Tell your mom. Tell your dogs that have their own credit card. Cheer up is live. And then they link their Kickstarter. And um, I'm probably going to back it, yeah. honestly. I'll, I'll I, give what I can. Like, I don't have much, but I'll give them like one to five bucks. Yeah. I'll probably back it so that I get the game. It's mm. I'd like it a lot. <laughs> there are some love towards them. Yeah, they're yeah, really they're, great. They're nice people. They were um, really nice people. And that game yeah. was really easy to learn. And they said they wanted to be friends with us. So. Yeah, that was so <laughs> nice. <laughs> Accept our friendship. Maybe please. we can go to their house and pet the dog. I would. I want to see the source material. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see your muse. Your muse? Your muse. Your muse. <laughs> if they say that, we probably won't be friends with them. Yeah. yeah we should, we should, you know. Yeah. Can I pet your dog? This is a lot more socially you know, <laughs> yeah. acceptable. Can I meet the muse? <laughs> As we all say it at the same time and stare. <laughs> uh, but yeah, game chasing. Yeah. It was pretty good. It was a thing. It was yep. pretty good. I drove for like seven hours. <laughs> Prepare to do it again in a week. Yep. <laughs> we went to four flea markets. Two of them were closed. Yep. Oh. Like and one permanently? Was in Lynn. Uh, yeah, and one was in Lynn. <laughs> were they closed permanently or just because? Just because of the it rain. It was raining. Yeah. Okay. And they were outdoor. Yep. Okay, that's and fair enough. And both of them were in New Hampshire. Yeah. Did you so get you cucumbers? drove to New Hampshire? No. Oh, you didn't get cucumbers? You didn't go to that flea market? No. What? I, I went to one that when we, like, it might have been one of the closed ones. When I went with my family this weekend, now, not this weekend, this, this <laughs> summer, I went looking for old video games too. And um, did you go to a farmers market or a flea market? It was a flea market. <laughs> it was a flea market. And okay. and we went to the parking lot. Like, here's a free cucumber. <laughs> and there was this had a bucket of cucumbers. I'm like, thanks. <laughs> and then we drove in and went inside. Did they come with a pack of condoms and lube? <laughs> not just a cucumber. <laughs> This is how you use a condom. Welcome to New Hampshire. Here's a complimentary Here's sex ed. Because <laughs> <laughs> our state doesn't let us teach it anymore. Yeah. Shit. Yeah. Um, Game chasing. Uh, <laughs> cucumber chasing. Actually, fun story. <laughs> involving cucumbers? <laughs> involving sex ed, actually. Oh, uh, boy. I told this to you, but I was reading an article right. earlier. <laughs> oh, okay. That, um... Hormonal contraceptives are linked to depression and anxiety in women. Really now. Anyway. I don't... I, don't. <laughs> I was waiting for the cucumber. Nope. <laughs> you know in, um, in that, health, that one health class where they bring in the banana and the condom or whatever? That banana. The banana. I, they Is shouldn't bring in the mini bananas. Because <laughs> I have mini Trudel bananas. Life. And so they're like this big. <laughs> yeah, actually. Yeah. <laughs> hey, it's average for a reason. <laughs> it's it's the median. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, Dude, 
that's okay. All their, all their tiers are different dogs. Yeah, fantastic. Um, yeah, game chasing. Game chasing. Game chasing. <laughs> Not dick chasing. Game chasing. Game chasing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, my best find actually was at this place in Lynn. Uh, Called the Linway Mart. Yep. <laughs> Clever name. Next to Walmart. <laughs> And um, I found an original Nintendo 64 Majora cartridge with a holographic label. Uh, that was really cool, and I bought it. Awesome. It's sitting on my shelf now. And it still plays. So. How much did that run you? It was 35 That's, that's not bad for... Yeah. And that's it That's about works? the price it runs for. Yeah. yeah that seems really and I haggled them down from 40 so... <laughs> it's not a lot, but like, you know. Yeah. It's something. You practice your haggling. Yeah. It's gonna come in handy when I go buy a car sometime. <laughs> Soon. How do you feel about five dollars <laughs> in cash? I have it right now. <laughs> You're just like, give me the keys. <laughs> I'm sliding you this far. <laughs> There's a reason I can't negotiate with people. <laughs> it's because my charisma stat is like a two. At least it's not zero. Yeah, or one. It's made of almost days. <laughs> um, yeah, don't do that when you go to haggle for cars. <laughs> also, pro tip, don't tell them you're going to lease the car until you've haggled and haggled and like decided on a final price. I don't have a car. Yeah, for all of you that drive, all like one of you. Which is you. Nobody is here. You. Pro tip for myself. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Diana, when you're listening to this in the future while you're editing, uh don't say you're going to lease your car until you've agreed on a price <laughs> for buying it. Because the buying price is what they're going to base your lease off of. So the lower it is, the lower your monthly payments are. Yay. Also, get gap insurance. Yay. Gap? Yeah. Basically, the car is insured from the dealer for a certain amount, and then, like, up to a certain amount, and then insured by your insurance company from a certain amount. So you want to get insurance that covers that gap. Okay. I'm gonna forget that. Yep. <laughs> Dan, what did you find? Game yeah, Chasing. Dan. I found nothing. Cool. Yay. Yay. But I had like three instances of going, oh shit, this could be awesome, and then it was nothing. Oh yeah, you did find that one thing. Yeah. I found, uh, in the Linway Mart, I found a Tekken 6 arcade stick for PS3, and those things tend to go for like 60 to 70 bucks, uh, but he wasn't selling it. Probably because he just bought it, most likely. And was trying to find out what he was going to sell it for. Because it was in a little, like, red bin off to the side. So, yeah. obviously, he's not keeping it because he thinks it's rare. So, yeah. I might stop by sometime this week and see if I can get it for, like, 20 bucks. Yeah. Um, uh, other, than, other than that, that was, like, the one, like, actually rare thing that I found. Well, not rare, but, like, cool. uncommon. Yeah. Then your uh, fight stick will have a friend. Yeah. It only has a friend in Dan. Hey. You got yeah. a friend in me. Until he throws her to the corner and buys a fancy <laughs> <laughs> No, that shit is my baby. That's that, what you say now. That stick is my like baby. Kids. Are you going to turn it into a bird? <laughs> kids are fine when they're arcade sticks. <laughs> Unfortunately, most of them are. Sadly, most of them are not. Install buttons on your child. <laughs> Make Please an LED. Don't. Give him an o- have belly buttons. Get rid of the square gate. Make it octagon. It makes it run a lot better. Would that be their butt? <laughs> they already have belly buttons. <laughs> anyway. One button. Is that like you're heavy? Oh, the kid's belly button and he slogs you across the face. <laughs> Not far off from the truth, but you know. Minor tangent. Oh. One of my man. friends told me to read a fan fiction one time. Because they were like, I need somebody to talk about this with oh, me. God. And they... This is never good. I know, it. it isn't. It isn't at all. But it resulted in me laughing hysterically for yeah. 15 minutes. I got to a sex scene and they used the term love button to describe a vagina. <laughs> <laughs> it's not even a button! I know. I'm like, who approved of this? The author, I'd imagine. See, the thing with publishing fanfiction is that, um... It's all self-published. Yeah. <laughs> so there's no quality control. Oh, I know. I'm looking at you, Dark Doom Firemaster. <laughs> I actually forgot his name. I didn't. I'm glad you did. I'll never forget his name. Never forget. 
At least there were no love buttons in that fan fiction. Yeah, but there was just ranch dressing. dressing. <laughs> and ranch dressing and curtains. And sideways lasagna. <laughs> <laughs> and scared ghosts. <laughs> what the fuck? Was Sonic High School? <laughs> An experience. <laughs> I just love that we all read it together. That was like we need to do that again for another yeah. shitty it fan fiction. It won't be the same. It won't. It won't. It, won't. it will not be the same. I, I, but it I could still be funny. I, I don't know. I don't think we should do it anymore. That, that one was. I don't know. Maybe we read the World War Two <laughs> spinoff. Yeah. And then we call it a day. But I don't think we can do many more of them. Maybe we should like we read, read Bernie's Joint Smash, hmm. which is uh, this Smash Bros. fan fiction involving the characters and the people who play them in tournament, and it's really bad. I don't we want should to fuck read you too. <laughs> <coughs> we should read that one Smash Brothers fan fiction. That's like four million words. That's no. ongoing. Yeah. The brawl it is, one. Yeah. It the is one. currently the longest work of fiction in the English language. That's sad. That's fucking great. Let me tell you. Yeah, that's real good. <laughs> I think we should read the B movie script. <laughs> Can I be buried? Yes. <laughs> Can I be Sting? Who am I to say? It was his birthday the other day. Yeah, fuck off. Well, it actually was. I know. (laughs) And I thought of you. (laughs) You left. I didn't let B movie happen. Anyway, game chasing. <laughs> we sung Hamilton. We sung Hamilton. Oh I saw basically that. all day. I saw those Snapchats. Those you, ben looked like he was having a real good time. Oh, yeah. wait for it. My, I was. My I was Snapchat was lit that day. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Did you save it? Yeah, I saved it. Good. <laughs> um, what else did I? I almost found two things, and I was really disappointed. I almost bought a turntable for records. <laughs> Because mine is scratching them up. Oh. I found this out because I played fucking Wild World, which I have the white vinyl of. Yeah. And it left, like, black marks on the... Oh. Uh. Yeah. No! So, I need to, one, clean that, and two, find a better turntable. We were at this anyway. one... We were at this one flea market in New Hampshire, uh, and um, there are two things there that I was freaking out about that I may have been able to get, but then got disappointed. Uh, one was an Atari, like an Atari twenty six hundred. Yeah, awesome. Yeah, and uh, oh, they yeah. normally the used one, thing. Yeah, used ones normally go for like thirty five bucks. Yeah. yeah. Uh, this thing looked really decrepit. It probably still worked. Uh, there, was, like, I was thinking there was no way this guy was selling it for more than like fifteen twenty bucks because it just looked like shit. Yeah. yeah. And then it was like, no, pay me forty. You have to take all the controllers. I was like, no. <laughs> no. 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 And then after that. Uh, not related to video games, but something that could have been rare, was he also had a bunch of toys just chilling in boxes. Mm -hmm. And at one point, I was looking around, and I saw pieces to the original Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Megazord. And Uh, I thought it was maybe bits and pieces, uh, maybe a full thing, I wasn't sure, but I saw saw parts to the Dragonzord, and the Dragonzord is very rare. And I got over there, and I was like, holy shit, is this it? Is this it? And then it was just, like, the kneecaps. (laughs) (laughs) Arguably the lamest part. Yeah, the lamest part. (laughs) And it was just, I was so sad. I was so sad. Is this it? Yes. Okay. Well, that, that that's one of them, but the dragon's order is something else. Is that it? No, that's the so, same one. Those are dinosaurs. <laughs> or that's animals. So. Anything else about game chasing you'd like to share? I don't, like, oh, man. I wanted to get, like, a couple of older things to use as props yeah. for Shadowrun, but, like, he would not budge on the price at all. So, fuck that. I found a... Like, really... it was a couple of, it was a lock and, like, a few keys. Ooh. Oh, and, yeah, the things up front? Yeah. And the keys were $2 a piece. Like... For a key? For a key. Like, and the lock was 10. Old keys? And I was like, mm, no. Yeah, no. old keys. Like, are this big or like this big? Like, little bitty old skeleton keys. Oh, yeah. that's cool. Yeah, it's cool, but like, I'm not going to pay $2 if I buy 10 or more. <laughs> okay, yeah, that's fair. Yeah, like, that was, like that was the bulk price. Just like a bunch of old rusty keys. I was thinking like a regular ass, like, door key. <laughs> <laughs> you can use the key that we found in the room. Yeah. The one that doesn't like, turn on the AC. Thank God it doesn't. I would have been livid if it did. <laughs> 
so I might just 3D print props or something, which I've been meaning to do for a while. I'm sorry. <laughs> I had to crack my neck. Uh, so yeah. <laughs> That's all I got. That's everything, Adam? That's everything I got. Take us to news, boy. All right. I'll do them quickly today because it seems... Well, how long are we? We're at 53. Yeah. I'll read them. Okay. Oh, yeah. One quick thing. Com- completely unrelated. Yeah. But uh, I've been still playing some Civ Five, and uh, I, I, I'm... Like actively avoiding starting up my game again because I, I'm in a war oh, with no. Ethiopia right now oh. and it's really stressful. What are they throwing at you, Sam? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Everything. The Fertile Crescent. <laughs> They're allied with like four Wait, no, other city states, so it's really stressful because they got all that firepower. And just and I just don't want to be a part of it right now. <laughs> Good thing you're not in an actual war with Ethiopia. <laughs> all right, continue. Anyway, continue. Yes. Nice. Street Fighter V is getting a Halloween-themed update. Yeah! Wow, is it going to install a rootkit on my computer, too? <laughs> I hope so. Alex... That's me! <laughs> <laughs> I hope it installs one on mine, too. I don't even own Street Fighter. I hope I look at it... Yeah, I don't the... own it either. I hope <laughs> I look at it in the store and it installs a rootkit on my computer. <laughs> <laughs> or I'm playing with my PS4 version and it installs a rootkit on my computer. Does it through Wi-Fi? Does it through Wi-Fi. That's some I just, that's I just watch it move over. Like It goes from my PS4 right to my Hackers. computer. It's like, whoa. <laughs> Can viruses like spread that way? No. No. Oh. Well, they can spread over <laughs> Wi-Fi. They can also spread in the air. <laughs> <laughs> I just meant to cough. Oh my god, that was disgusting. <laughs> do you regret things ever? I do several times a minute. Yeah. <laughs> I regretted trying to fit my head through the sleeve of my sweatshirt earlier, in the middle of my English class. <laughs> I'm just like, I don't fit. <laughs> What's up with Street Fighter? Is it just the Halloween update? Yeah, so while well, it appears that not every character on the Street Fighter 5 roster will be dressing up, uh, Ryu, Nash, Vega, Kami, Nikali, Alex, and Jury are all getting Halloween costumes. Cool. Alex finally has a good alt. He doesn't have French fry hair? In his base one. Uh, his other ones include uh, a perm. Pizza hair? <laughs> <laughs> I get it. Because <laughs> it's fast food? Mm. Well, I was thinking the ski thing, like pizza, french fry, pizza, french fry. That ski. doesn't work. Wait, what? A what? Continue what you were going to say. Anyway. <laughs> we all do our outdoor activities. No, we don't. Yeah. I don't. I, 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 I knew don't that ski. from a fucking cartoon. I've never been skiing. <laughs> um, his other costumes uh, are just ugly. Yeah. <laughs> one of them was just nothing but baggy clothing, and the other one involved a crop top and yoga pants oh, on no. Alex. Oh, oh, God. God. Wait, is Alex the power squat man? Yes. Yeah. Okay. The one what do you who's, mean? That's the best costume. The one who's six foot five, two 245 pounds of nothing but muscle. I found Dave's Halloween costume. <laughs> <laughs> Dave, could, Dave could dress up. He always got the height. <laughs> if he stands up straight. Which, by the way, I refuse to believe that Alex is only 45 pounds heavier than me. He's got a lot of mass there. It's <laughs> They'll also be releasing a stage. Yeah. Ooh. The the costumes are three ninety nine each. And the stage is, is and the stage is two dollars. Okay. Or you could get the stage for fight money. Yeah, for forty thousand fight money. Alright. Uh, but the stage well. doesn't matter because the they already released the best stage. The fucking yeah, the Evo. Yeah, the Evo one is <laughs> so good. The Evo one is so nice. It's so nice. A massive update came to Hearthstone this week. Did it? Yeah, one point. Fuck if I remember. What Two, day? Six. Uh, fuck if I remember. Uh, Wednesday. <laughs> oh, okay. No, was it yesterday? Yesterday. Was it yesterday? Oh, oh Jesus I think, I think so. it's been a long fucking day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it came out yesterday. Jesus Christ. Okay. Yeah, and, I noticed yeah. that uh, uh, like what seven cards got changed yeah. at least, and Including a lot of Tuscar Totem. A lot of problematic cards got changed. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> to run down the list very quickly, uh, Rockbiter Weapon. Which was a shaman card. Yeah, uh, it, it was reduced, right? It, no, it got increased, increased? to okay. two mana. Oh, uh, was it one? Huh. Yeah, it was oh, one, okay. and now it's two mana to try to make Doomhammer yeah. a little less, you know, yeah. fucking obnoxious. <laughs> uh, Tuscar Totemic, they changed it to summon any, from any totem to basic totems. So now it can only get the totems that shaman gets off its hero power instead of the three mana 6-6. Six, six. Yeah. That seems very fair. Yeah, yeah. it's, it's yeah. significantly more fair. Uh, Call of the Wild, they increased the price to nine mana. Okay. Which is, it doesn't seem like a big deal for a card as powerful as Call of the Wild, but it, it also seems like a fucking massive deal. Yeah. Because 
Hunters. That's the one that's uh, summon every beast, right? Yeah. Summon all three beasts. Yeah. yeah. Um, because it, it also changes Hunter's burst from seven to five because it can't because Hunter can't call of the wild hero power on turn ten. Mm-hmm. And if you're playing a Hunter on turn ten, you're usually at low life. Yeah. So it honestly changes the card a lot. Um, they changed Execute from one to two mana. They changed Charge completely. So now instead of giving a minion char- plus three attack and charge, it now gives them charge, and they can't attack heroes for that turn. Okay. They changed Abusive Sergeant to a 1-1, one, one, and they also changed Yogg-Saron, which is uh, the most controversial card this yeah. game has ever seen. Yeah, um, like, that's the one that made me go, oh, <laughs> this is this is important. Yeah, yeah. so they, they changed possibly the most broken card they've ever made in the game. What does um, it do now? So now if Yogg-Saron puts himself back in your hand, dies or silences himself, he'll effect, his effects will just stop. Oh, so, say if so like, what would have happened when I faced him a few days ago? Yeah. So say like 10 mana, 7, 5, fireball on Yogg, it's done. Yeah. You're just spending 10 mana for nothing. Yeah. And that also means, uh, so like now spells, like overloaded spells for Shaman, will now also actually give you overload. Yeah. So, so I'm waiting for the video where... You just wind up with no turn, yeah, where, 11. Where, where Yogg will... It'll just be a, an empty board, and you yog, you elemental destruction for four, and then elemental destruction again, so you waste 20 mana on nothing. Oh my god. <laughs> so don't wait for it. <laughs> oh my god, that's awful. That's what I'm and beautiful. For. Yeah. Sweet justice. Sweet justice. But I'm sad. <clears throat> I'll, I'll miss you, Yogi. <laughs> Yogi. Nidhogg 2 is getting a sequel next year. Oh, cool. Nidhogg 1 is getting a sequel next year. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, are we on fast. three? And, and, and Nidhogg 3 will be coming out next year. They skip two. Shit. Um, wow. I can't wait. Nidhogg is Gold great. as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I love Nidhogg. Yep. Nidhogg's won. great. Which one was Nidhogg? The sword fighting one. The, is that the one where you're like running after one. each other? Yep. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Fen- yep. I confused that in one finger death punch for some reason. They both involve fighting. They both involve yeah. fighting. So does Street Fighter. <laughs> Thank so you. do most fighting games. So do most games. Oh, yeah. True. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> hey, man, Victoria doesn't. You mean Virginia? Virginia. Victoria. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, that's Adam. Uh, I, can, I can change my name to Victoria if you guys really want. But I think my family might. Yeah, I'm a mess, okay? <laughs> well, this in 2017. For PC and Mac, and they said maybe platforms. Cool. At some point. <gasps> uh, what else you got for news? PlayStation <laughs> Plus for October. Yeah. Yay. On, PS, on PS4, we get Resident Evil HD. Yeah. And we get Transformers Devastation. Which is a great, which, great PS Plus pack. That's, that's like the that best is, one they've done in months. Yeah. Okay. Transformers Devastation is fantastic. And Resident Evil HD, you know, that's, yeah. that's some good value. Is that the original one, Redone? Yeah, Redone okay. for the third time. <laughs> okay. HD2. HD2. And yeah. for PS3, From Dust and Mad Riders will be coming out. Cool. And for Vita, it's Code Realize Guardians of Free Birth <laughs> and Actual Sunlight. Like that's As like opposed to Artificial <laughs> Sunlight? <laughs> like going outside? Yeah. Actual Sunlight? Like With your Vita. Gonna, they're going to mail the sun into yeah. your house. It's just Street Pass. <laughs> <laughs> it's, like, it's just near. It's just the new. Is that what it's called? The Vita Street Pass? Is it called Nier? Oh. Uh-huh. I know there's Nier. a game called Nier. You're not yeah. joking? No, there's a Street Pass. No, it's a, I'm joking that this game is a Street Pass, but there's also oh. a Street Pass function on Vita. That's fucking weird. Did I forget? I think it's called Nier. I don't think I've ever pinged anyone with a Vita. I don't think because I know. Because no one owns a Vita. I don't yeah. think I've ever tried to. <laughs> <sighs> I gotta give the Vita credit, though. Like, for what? It's got it's Persona 4 Golden. It's fucking battery life. You put that thing into sleep mode? I put that thing into sleep mode for four months, and when I turned it on, it had half battery left. I put my laptop into sleep mode, and it didn't go into sleep mode, and it almost <laughs> set fire to my laptop bag. That's good. <laughs> I love it when that happens. Everything's fine. But yeah, 70% Vita. On sleep for four months, 50% sh- On sleep. What the fuck? That's, that's Take a- notes, everyone else! <laughs> Probably runs on wash batteries. Does it run on button batteries? <laughs> Probably does. Hey, hey! Every form of technology should run on wash batteries. Those things shit will never die. But they're small. Just but they like never volts. die. You have to change those things like once a decade. Yeah. If you replace sure. like things that use eight volt batteries, would they just use like sixteen button batteries? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> also, my Tamagotchi. <laughs> <laughs> 
Speaking of battery life. <laughs> has a button battery? It's still alive. Is your Watch Tamagotchi batteries. alive? No. <laughs> <laughs> the, the machine it runs on, yeah. Like, I can't make it past the egg phase anymore. What did I do when I was 12? I don't know. What? I didn't know you when you were 12. Me neither. <laughs> I didn't know myself until very recently. I still don't know myself. It's a, it's a process. Anyway, is that all your news? One more. Oh. Twitch Prime is Amazon's latest Prime offering. Yay! Yay. I love so Twitch now, Prime. So now if you have uh, Amazon Prime, you can now get Twitch's premium service for free now. Yep. And here's what it includes. It will include one... <laughs> it will include free game mode every month. For example, uh, this month you can get like some new game that I don't want to download because it uses its own installer. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, the new Hearthstone hero portrait? Yep. Um, and I might start playing Hearthstone again just for that. Well, it's a priest. It's a priest. And priest has never been in a worse position than yeah. he is right now. So, I feel like that's said about priest with literally every update. When when every expansion comes out, they don't do anything with priest. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's so sad. Yeah. Um, I remember... I got Lady Leodrin, like, right as they nerfed Paladin into the yeah, ground. Right, right yep. when Standard rotated. That was, that was shitty. Right when yep. they put Standard in, and now there's one Paladin deck. Yep. And it's expensive. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yep. And this month they also have a Paladin's skin. <laughs> so, like, there's a Bomb Hero. <laughs> and now the Bomb Hero throws purple bombs, and they have the Twitch logo on this. That's pretty too. cool. Um, you can get discount on, uh, I think it's the same thing. For, yeah, I think it just it's one now. So you get the discount for pre-ordered games, like Prime already has. Yeah. I don't know why they're relisting it here. Maybe um, if you want to get one versus the other. Yeah. And you get ad-free viewing experience. Yep. Um, you get like exclusive emotes, but it seems like the emotes are just the, the turbo. The turbo emotes. Yep. You can and, change um, your color in chat to any color you want. Yep. You get yeah. So you get all the turbo. Yeah. Privileges. And you also get one free sub a month. Yeah, which is. Actually, probably the best thing yeah. out there because, like, good uh, for good for wa- like people who watch and people who stream. Yeah, absolutely. Also. Because say you have a free sub now, you get one every month, and not you get a different one every month. Yep. And I'm probably still using all of mine on Geek and Sundry. Yeah. So I can <laughs> watch so Critical Role. Yeah. And um. Yeah. yeah. And, and and Amazon will pay for that, so it's not like you're just pressing a button, and they're not getting the money. It's not yeah. like it's a fake subscription. They're actually, on their end, are going to pay for that sub. So now I have a question. In mm-hmm. regards to um, donating, does yeah. that now pull from your Amazon? Or do you have to still attach your card um, to Twitch? I bet if you... So donating is usually through a third-party link. Okay. Um, yeah. But if you do bits, mm-hmm. like which is Twitch's new form of donating, I mm-hmm. bet it takes your Amazon information to try to make it easier for you to buy bits. Yeah. But yeah. We haven't tried it out yet. Yeah. Okay. But any more news? No. Nope. Okay, we have a couple of questions. Uh, first, we'll start over on Twitter uh, from Colin, uh, our very own. Good and he old says, Colin. Good old Colin. Uh, with Halloween season coming, what is the scariest moment in a non horror game? For me, it's anytime Sweet Tooth is in TM. And what's TM again? Twisted, Twisted metal. metal. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't have one. I still remember in Bioshock Infinite. Uh, no. Are we thinking of the same when when the when the horn dude comes behind you and screams at yeah. you? Yeah, like wait, what the heck? We're thinking of the same thing. <laughs> yeah, uh, so the only jump scare in the entire game. Yeah. There's just this dude with like four horns. <laughs> I think he's called the Boy of Silence. The Boy of Silence. And oh just, yeah, I remember. And he just screams in your face. And you're like, why? Yeah. <laughs> Why'd you do that? And that, yeah. Yeah, yeah I, that was the like, first I thing I thought one. of. That's the only thing I could think of. Yeah, I got uh, nothing. I mean, this, it's not really scary now, but back when I was, like, seven and, like, playing video games, uh, I had a PS1, and I had Blaster Master Blasting Again, which is a great game, and there were these spider enemies, and they scared the shit out of me as a kid. Oh, yeah, I can do spiders. That part in Twilight Princess where you have to fight the really big spider, fucking oh. hated it. That was, like, when my fear of spiders, like, a legitimate phobia was making a recurrence in my life, too. It's just not a fun I remember I watched my brother play um, Conquer Live and Reloaded for the Xbox, and I thought I was such a badass for watching him because I was like a little baby, little baby Sydney. I don't remember how old I was, but I might have been eight, and I was like so into that game, and then the zombie part happened, and I was so spooked. <laughs> like, I just didn't sleep for three days. 
which isn't good as, as an eight year old. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that developmental growth is really important. I think that was around the same time that my dad yelled at me because I was staying awake late reading books. No. Oh no. I didn't even have a light on. No wonder I need glasses. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah, I guess that's it. It's weird not doing this with, like, eight people. Yeah, right? <laughs> yeah, we're done in, like, two minutes. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and then we have two questions on Facebook from Sydney, who's sitting right across the table from me. Hello. What Hello. game would you like to see turn into a VR experience? Without the nausea. Ah, Without the nausea? There you go. Yeah. Um, honestly, anything with walking. Like, anything where you have to traverse. <laughs> 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 yeah. Or, like, if you could, like, move with joysticks, I think that would be really cool. Um, also obligatory, I want to see Hotline Miami in VR because I think that would be really cool. Like from top down perspective? No, like from first person. Okay. Like from little swingy man's perspective? Yeah. Jacket. Uh, sure, Jacket. <laughs> His name is Jacket. That's not just, better than swingy man. Nope. <laughs> it just made me throwing a crowbar the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> no, the knives were the best. Not for, not for speedrun technique, but you know. I forget what's the best for speedrun technique. I think it's the golf course. I imagine Tony's good for speedruns because you don't yes. need to do much of anything. Either Tony or Brandon. Yeah. I thought you were going to say Tony Hawk. <laughs> uh, because Tony's punches kill and Brandon moves fast. Yeah. So if you have everything optimized, mm -hmm. uh, Tony, if you don't, Brandon. Yeah. Cool. Fun fact. Uh -huh. uh. I'd say maybe Red Dead Redemption just because I really love that game, but I don't know how the hell horseback riding is going to work in that <laughs> VR. <laughs> you, have to, you have to make the move with yourself. <laughs> oh, no. Is it like in Monty Python with the coconut? Yes. <laughs> yeah. yeah, actually. Um, in, a, in, a perfect, so in a perfect world where I don't get sick from any motion things ever, I, Gravity Rush would be a pretty fucking awesome game. To play Gravity Rush would be, uh, yeah. <laughs> Actually, um, yeah, in that vein, uh, yeah. Sonic the Hedgehog. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, but you I'm just serious. run into a wall. Yeah, they're like, wait, where am I? <laughs> yeah. That game seems like it would be hell to play in first person. Yeah. yeah. Like, you don't know where you're going. Nope. Um, I mean, like, in theory, once you get the levels memorized, it would be pretty cool. I got three. Ooh. Ooh. Armored Core. Yep. Zone of the Enders. Yep. Doom. Doom is oh, gonna be in Doom. VR though. Is it? Mm -hmm. Oh, They're yeah. Doing a Doom Doom's, VR thing. Doom 2016 isn't gonna be in VR. They're gonna do it like a Doom VR experience. I oh, I didn't know I it was gonna be in VR. Literally yeah. buy a VR headset for that. For that? Like, goddamn. Why didn't I think of that? Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> Next question. I guess. Or is that? Yeah. yeah. I, don't know. I got really distracted by that Dan's comment there. And then, what's your favorite spooky season movie? Or, alternatively, what is a movie you would like to watch over and over again? Like Halloween themed? Yeah. It, the second one doesn't have to be Halloween themed. Oh, okay. The uh, first one, Hocus Pocus, always. I haven't always. seen Hocus Pocus. As a shit poster, I have to say Scary Godmother. <laughs> <laughs> so bad. Also, if any of you say Night Before, Nightmare Before Christmas... I'm, I'm judging you a little bit. Oh, I was going to say that. Yeah, same. <laughs> oh my god. I don't yes. watch spooky movies. I, I, Hocus I don't... Pocus isn't a scary... Uh, oh, Hocus, Pocus, Hocus, Pocus, uh, Hocus, Pocus, Hocus Pocus is good, though, too. But I haven't Hook seen hand, it. Hook hand, man, car, door hand. Hook. The one time my roommates watched it last year, I came back from hanging out with you guys, apparently, and it was like 11 o'clock, and it was like the last 10 minutes, and oh, I had no okay. idea what was going we'll on. watch it in the room this also, year. Also, like, Halloween Town. <laughs> I watched that, and it was so bad. Yeah. I'd also never seen that. The only Halloween Town I've seen is, like, the fourth one. <laughs> Where they <What? laughs> switched over the actor to I, the... The girl that looks like Gilmore Girls. I think I watched Return to Halloween Town, Halloween but Town? didn't see <laughs> Halloween Town. <laughs> it's called Return to Halloween oh, Town. Oh, that was the one that I saw. <laughs> <laughs> it changed the actress, and she looked nothing, nothing like the one before. I didn't have anything to go off yeah, of. Yeah, me. So too. I <laughs> it's just the same. <sighs> me and my. I didn't catch up on the Halloween Town lore before I watched <laughs> Halloween Return to Halloween Town. Also. I really like Twitches. I remember watching <laughs> Twitches too. That was really good too, okay? One of them has their own cooking show yeah. now. They're both like doing well for themselves. Now but by, yeah, Twitches was real good. By Spoopy, do you mean like Halloween Spoopy or just like horror? Anything. Anything? Okay. If then. it has to do with Halloween even remotely, 
Like, you, you could pull the full, like, diehard bullshit and be like, oh, it's a Christmas movie. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Then, uh, I'll just stick with Halloween then. Uh, the Billy and Mandy Halloween special. Ooh, okay. Oh, then that the SpongeBob is special. my favorite. Where is the shoes? <laughs> <laughs> the hash slinging. Is that not the No. no. Okay, but well, that, that, that is a classic, though. Oh, no. It's only for... for... <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't what? remember the plot of it, but, like, Spongebob wants to be a ghost, and so he makes himself round oh, by yeah. cutting his oh, head off. Oh, that one! But he also has, like, for some reason, like, Dutch clog shoes on the entire yeah. episode. So he's a flying Dutchman. Oh. <laughs> Actually, a flying Dutchman. So, <laughs> exactly how the episode goes. I do have an answer for this one. I already said it for Christmas. Oh, okay. And Halloween Town. Alternatively, what is a movie you'd like to watch over and over again? Ooh, there are so many. Uh, Pacific Rim. Yeah, Pacific Rim. Still haven't seen it. Ex Machina, Crimson Peak, Mad Max, Alien, Fury Road. I'm I'm gonna say, along with. Pacific Rim Alien, because Alien is a masterpiece. Um, back in the day, it was Thor, the first one. It's so mediocre. I know. <laughs> I like Disney movies. Yeah. I can watch oh, Frozen, like, Aladdin and the King times. of Thieves. Yeah, you, Frozen. I can watch Frozen. that like a fucking million times. I like Tangled. I burnt out Tangled's of Frozen. Tangled is really fantastic. Good. Tangled's good. I could watch Aladdin and the King of Thieves forever. Yeah. I haven't seen that in yeah. so long. But, like, it's still really good. It's so good. You know, It's, like, the only... End movie in a trilogy that's like fantastic. You know when you watch a movie that you really liked as a kid, and then you watch it as an adult, and you're like, "This is shit." I felt yeah. that way with the sequel to Peter Pan. Oh yeah, I never saw that. It's bad. Uh, Don't watch it. <laughs> another movie I could watch over and over was the Brave Little Toaster one. Yeah. The, the one with the internet. I still haven't yeah. seen that either. I, so I, I'll, I'll watch every Brave Little Toaster movie Please. over and over again. <laughs> Not the first one. The first one traumatized me as a kid. But I need <laughs> to see the first one because all the others are on Netflix. Oh, I won't spoil it for you, though. <laughs> Please don't. I'm not going to say anything. Okay. Also, The Road to El Dorado. Yes! Oh! If you want to talk Emperor's about sheer... Group. I love Emperor's the Emperor's New Group. Group. If you want to talk about sheer rewatchability, like... Mm. Yeah. Shaun of the Dead is a movie. Oh, that yeah. I, like, like, I, like, if I ever see it, if I know they were watching it, I will always make a point to go watch it. Yeah. Shaun I of need the Dead to is go watch that again. Absolutely one of my favorite movies. Oh. It's, it's without a doubt one of my. Uh, it's so good. Synchronized queen beatings. It's it's great. Over. I thought that was the name of a movie. <laughs> no, I just a scene in the movie. Yeah. The best scene. Yeah, yeah it's yeah. been a long time. Um, it's fucking awesome. Overboard. What? That's like a, probably like a lifetime movie, but it's about <laughs> this rich woman who gets amnesia, and like, it's actually pretty fucked up. <laughs> this carpenter convinces her that she's his long lost wife uh, to get the fortune, but ends up falling in love with her. Spoilers. And like the kids are little shits, and that's why I don't <laughs> want kids because they're probably all going to turn out like that. <laughs> yeah. I like watching The Parent Trap a lot. Yeah. I like Speaking the, I of the <laughs> second one. I never saw that one. Oh, okay. Where they had the drone. That was pretty good. And they were in, like, Buckingham Palace for some reason. The yeah. other one was British. Yeah. Why were they in Buckingham Palace? I don't know. Maybe they wanted to hug the queen. <laughs> yeah, that's what everyone in Britain wants to do. Did you hear that it was a really slow news day the other day? When there was a news article about Princess Charlotte wearing hand-me-down clothes? <laughs> Why is this news? Why are we not more focused on the axe-wielding clowns? Current events. Ba-ding. Ba-ding. <laughs> what a great place to end it. Alright. Anyone have anything else to say to close us out? Clowns suck. Yeah, clowns suck. I don't understand why they were funny. Don't give them rifles. <laughs> yeah, that's a given. Yeah. Don't give anyone rifles, actually. Yeah. 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 I guess that's it. <laughs> yeah, what a great place to end it. What a great place to end it. At, right at the end. Yeah. Yeah. At the conclusion. We done. Main concluding. <laughs>